is your name? Yes, sir. What's yours? Work hard, play hard, get plenty of roughage in your diet, and someday you'll own this hotel. Thank you. Uh, miss, I have a tip for you. Oh, thank you. Buy International Steel at 28 and a half. <laughs> Nervous, eh? Played your yellow-livered card. So Kincaid paid a hired killer to come and get me. That's right, Slade. I paid him $500 for your life. $500, huh? Well, I've only got three words for you, Black Bart. Yeah, what are they? $600. Well, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. I thought I'd just sort of sit around the house and fail. I object, Your Honor. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, well, through my clever manipulation of her heartstrings and uh, my masculinity and my persuasiveness, she... You jumped out the window. No, she promised she wouldn't do anything until tomorrow. So which sounds better in a peace treaty? We humbly request or pretty please? I don't know, but uh, you have nice ears. Uh, I think we should use pretty please. Well, I... Oh. You hit my defense. Right in the court. Right in the court. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I find the defendant guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. Guilty. Are some people in this town uh, who are who are the little people? Well, no, they're they're not the little people. What I, what I mean to say is is that there are there are some people in this town without power. And um, they're people like my next door neighbors. And what I wanted to do was to go down to City Hall and make their voice be heard, because I didn't think that it was right just because they didn't have any power that nobody would listen to them. Well, um, I suppose that was a noble enough motive, but uh, somehow in doing that, I, I got sucked up in the very forces that I was trying to conquer. I remember reading in the paper where, uh, due to a lack of interest, tomorrow was canceled, so we'll have to make it day after tomorrow.